Hello, welcome back to Slice and Dice. Back at it again for another classic art. Let me go turn off uh, 5% and complex art. I'm gonna keep these on though. I think they're pretty fun. Uh, let's run it. I wanna play Flex today. I like Flex, it's probably my favorite party. This is uh, lame. <laughs> Green, yellow, orange, blue, red, whatever. Uh, I'm going to reroll because I think these are pretty gross. You could play big hitter six or fewer rerolls if you really wanted. But hey, let's run it again. Ah, double green. Ah, yes. I'm done for tunnel vision. I think it's a it's a good time to just say, all right, game, take it away. Yo, the combo? Oh, this is the wrong ring. Never mind. I thought it was sick, but it's not. Uh, okay. This team comp looks good, actually. I mean... Killing this thorn is going to be a pain, but <laughs> other than that, it looks good. Uh, maybe impossible, actually? Uh, we have spades, so we can't really lose. It's just really hard to win. That's the trouble. Oh shit, he still dies. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> He's done two deaths in the first fight. That's a bad sign for our hero. Stand back up, brother. Don't let him talk to you like that. Brute. Ah, good. I think this curse does have a tendency to just ruin your run. I think it can give you a party comp that just loses sometimes, but... Uh, I don't know. I'm not trying super hard. And I think it's more fun than the other options were there, so I don't care. I am taking some time to have a good time rather than force nightmares. Hey, you're right, I should mulch. Because I think realistically you just play force or basic and run through the runs very quickly. I, I honestly think that to clear a big streak you want to go for a run density rather than going for uh, like super high quality. You just want to run a lot of runs. And I don't mind doing that for what it's worth. I think it's fine, but I think it's not fun to watch is the big thing. I don't think it's a good time for you if you just tune in and watch me uh, sit here and fucking spam run. So I just do it in my free time, basically. You go fast, you uh, force your way through runs in like 20 minutes. Because ultimately, if you want to put up a big streak right now, if I like, if I want to top the leaderboards, you got to win like a ton of runs. I'm not going to mulch, fuck you. It's 40 runs, and if, every, if you have every run take an hour, that's like 40 hours. I know, I can do the math. I don't know. I, I fall for it often where I just roll that thing. Fine. So I'm fine with... Most likely what I'll do is I'll grind them off stream. Or maybe I'll just stream uh, extra hours. I've been thinking about doing that too. It's just hard to motivate myself to do it, you know. Random tier 1 or 3? Shield. Sweet. Odds uh, can go on pockets. This shade is going to obliterate, yeah, Mystic or Pockets. It was a flip. I lost the coin flip. I am going to have to kill this bandit naturally. Killing it through the shade is hard. So what I want to do here is roll for Fierce. I guess not on this turn, though. But we just roll every turn for Fierce until I get it. And then the shade dies. Or it just dies naturally also, sometimes. Both are fine. I need to remember to lock the spade. I'm wasting my time. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I should mulch. I should. It's just like it's hard to remember, you know? I don't want to do that shit. Good enough. Grant. Sure. You know, nothing horrific here. I am unconcerned. See in this fight a lot. I think this fight varies pretty wildly between very free and very scary. Looks pretty free here though. Gotta say, you just take it. Ice cube needle. I've heard there's some good stuff to do with needle. 
Uh, picky is the target must have exactly N HP, so he can only poison a target on three. Uh, I've heard some interesting ideas with it, but I don't really know what we will try. We can stasis this for now. I'll keep my eyes peeled. One thing we can do is blindfold it though, and that's pretty sick. Um, another thing, someone told me they used it with Cleave, because only the main target needs to be low for that. I thought that was a cool idea too. What are you targeting? Seer? Okay. But yeah, you just you target you bring one target down to four and then get a big cleave damage. It was I think it was on Ruat they said they were using it on. So but just some ideas, you know. I don't know for sure what we'll be going for here. Alien? Well. Yeah, we had to get a shitter eventually. It's okay, alien. <laughs> it's fine. I mean, he's immediately useful into the gnolls. I will say that. I need two damage. I need two more damage, I should say. And a burst. And we can devoid both gnolls on turn one, which is solid. I don't think we're killing the sarcophagus, though. It's a hard ask. I should roll for damage. I want to roll for it. I want to try. Yeah, okay. And we should foretell. Can this team from this spot do enough damage? The answer is probably not, and I don't think you can stun him out of running either. Well, you know what? Probably as good of a chance as we're going to get. Hey, what do you know? They got it. Wrist blade. Sure I can. Oh wow, that's a sweet combo actually. That's super cool. Huh. Right, right on. I am down with that. Just looking if I... I don't have anything for the shade here. Three, two, five, shield. It's just important that I break his intangible. Ideally with a two from Brute. Okay. As you wish. I will burst him. I don't care about foretelling in this fight. The fight's gonna be over pretty quickly anyway. So I'm down to just burst. Yeah, three heavy. We wanna set up here now. So this will give me my devoid. I need an X out of alien and I think I should have lethal. This might actually be lethal as well. One, three. One. Not quite. Uh, three here, one here. First here. It's it's close. It's close. You can roll me an X, actually. Nah, he's too good at his job. What else can I say? He's got it on lock. It's fine, I can just clean up. Medic. Uh, honestly, Seer Medic, not a bad combo. I'm not, I'm not opposed. Medic, I had a super good combo with where I got jump, and then this character got like insane value for that. That was a real pop off for Medic. I can devoid. I can actually kill a bones off of this if I want. I could kill two bones even. You know, I may as well kill a bones. Why not? It's not like I need to bank that mana. We're just waiting for the fanatics to die, natural causes and such. No rush. It's lethal actually. No rush at all. Cracked wheel? Okay. It's not too bad. I can wrist blade with it later. I'm not gonna force myself to use it though. I don't really need the plus one reroll here. Not a huge issue one way or another anyway. Oh, I should have gone for devoid here. Cause you just devoid and kill all the snipers here very easily. Granite should have had that. 
Well, I'll just roll. I mean, Seer has a good chance of hitting it. And I need a wrist blade. Here's my X. Here's my... I need the, the chain. Please, the chain. Brother. The chain! My cool shit! Ugh. Quick, they fight. Fuck you, losers. Get out of here. Leave. We're all granite hell, though. Wizard. Interesting. Very interesting. Must have exactly N HP. Crack wheel becomes a little better if I want to try to play with this. Hmm. I could see it, and I could say I'll just use Alien for Devoid if he rolls an X. It's not like he's doing anything anyway. <laughs> okay. Can lock this X. Let me just take a look. That's two of them dead. I want to roll wizard here but i will keep this x there you go i want to hit the perma boost here because perma boosting granite is extremely good in this spot yeah i mean we can just with the extra reroll what do you think the odds are uh let's see I can do this math in my head. The odds of hitting this, we get four total rolls. One, so let me make sure I'm counting this correctly. We get one, this is our first roll. Second roll. Third roll. Fourth roll. So it comes out to be, if you want to do this math for yourself, it's five out of six, which are the odds that you don't roll to side. Uh, it's five out of six times, sorry, I'm a little stun locked here. There you go. Uh, it's five out of it's not it's five out of six to the power of four and then you do one minus that that's how you find out i shouldn't lock this by the way that's silly i was thinking i was gonna foretell there five out of six to the power of four which is it's just five out of six times five out of six times five out of six one minus that i'll uh, i'll plug it into a calculator super quick because i'm curious and you can tell me if i'm right so it's 5 divided by 6 times itself. 1, 2, 3. It's actually not that likely. It's like a. I got a 52% is my answer. So that's actually not that crazy. Uh, no thank you on that. Glassheart? If anyone can hold it, it's granite. But Glassheart. Actually, Glassheart Wizard sounds kind of good here. Just have to be super, super careful. Because de death is permanent. This item is so fucked up. <laughs> it is really just, do you want to press your luck? By the way, I, I saw someone call this one out. I want to try to educate you so you don't uh, type things like this to me uh, in the future. One time, someone said to me, hey, you missed playing Devoid on these thorns. It wasn't exactly this. I don't want to give you the exact answer because then the person will know. But it was like a, hey, you missed Devoid on thorns. You always miss the important things when it matters. Something like that, right? And uh, if you don't know this, these enemies are also immune to tactics. So, uh, you know, just be aware. Does he die for that? He does die for that. But I can renew him, actually, and then he'll live it. Just be a be aware. I will try to teach you all of these things. Oh, it's the only clickable one. Cool. Profit. Oh, that's good too. Rescue vitality is very slick. Fine. As long as they don't target Mr. Wizard, we're all good. We have one, two, three, four. I guess I'll just take the kill. 
One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I'm wasting though here, actually. I should roll for the boost because the boost is like super, super good if I hit it. Okay, doesn't matter if you miss too much. I'm missing out on a renew here, basically, which does not matter in this fight. So you can roll it down. Mm, I should roll this as well, actually, for the, the double hit. I guess it's less likely than I thought that I would hit this side for wizard. Pentacle. It's kind of cute for profit. I hate it. Oh, uh, Aliens Devoid goes nuts here. Who's talking shit about Alien? <laughs> Nobody, that's who. I mean, I am, actually. I should have unlocked him here. Should have unleashed him. I should have let this guy uh, take off the boots. So it goes here and here and here and here. Oh, I can't do one of these. Hold on. This one, devoid. There's three gnolls dead. But yeah, this shit, target ally, two cleanse. That side is basically an X, which is why I think alien is so bad. That side is horrible. Hey, there you go. Three, five. Go blind. Jumble. That's pretty bad. Because now I don't have a good boost target. I mean, okay, I do have a boost target. I can crack wheel jumble and just say let it ride, but I think I should let it. Mm, well, the plus one reroll is super good. I'm just saying jumble will do something for me. I guess I'm down. Oh, well, that is something. What are your sides here? Target two damage. Interesting. Keeping the glass heart on wizard here is very risky, by the way. Just so we're clear. So we go three, two, one, one. Heal. Vitality. I guess two, one is fine. Sure. I got three damage into Tarantus and we're back to where we started. Heal one cleanse? Sure, I don't mind that. Uh, target three damage is good. Kind of want to go for a devoid angle here, though, to clean the spiders. I guess this is a two. You should roll for the chain, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's a lot of cantrip mana gain. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, I don't get devoid here. That's okay. Uh, we go like three, two, double soothe here. I just want to make the wizard unkillable for, for Tarantus here. That's going to be the main goal. He can make as many spiders as he likes. I can basically just make an impenetrable wall for myself here. You can still roll for your uh, boost. Seems unlikely to hit, but... I mean, at this point, you got to start to wonder if he's ever going to hit, but... I trust my boy. I think he's got it. If the fight goes long enough, he has to hit, so every turn turn into summons is a good one for me. That's all I gotta tell myself. Any day now. This is a great example, though. I'm, I've been trying to find and point out examples of things like this. People, so a, a classic one that happened to me today, something that someone asked me about, is um, Charged Hammer. Hey, why don't you like Charged Hammer? Because I said in the Discord today, I think it's the worst uh, tier 9 by a pretty large margin. Oh yeah, if you single use a side with Sticky, by the way, it goes away. Imagine in this situation, though, instead of this uh, boost, I was looking at this Charged Hammer idea, right? My tier nine is effectively worthless and we're five turns in and I still haven't rolled it. Whoa, my mouse freaked out there. Thank God I have that are you sure on. Oh my God, my mouse is like dying. I don't understand. Sometimes it just gets a little 
squirrely. <laughs> Jumble rolled perma boost before my fucking wizard did. That's how bad it is. So th this is why I don't really put much value into high impact single side replacers because this can happen. I even I have the extra reroll to mitigate, and it still can happen. And there's really, truly, nothing you can do about it. We can sit here and we can play slow and wait for this to work out, but at some point, you have to accept that it's just not coming. And you gotta play accordingly. Thankfully, we have profit and we can soothe out. This one is also for all the people who say I don't ever play the game slowly. You know what? I want to see it. Roll it down. So that was eight turns of four rolls, but one turn of three rolls. So seven turns of four rolls, one turn of three rolls. That was 31 rolls that I just did not roll this perma boost. So, it, and this will happen to you eventually. In, and it'll happen to you in a fight that matters eventually. That's the important thing. It didn't matter in that fight. I don't have to care about it there, but... If you play for a streak for long enough, that'll happen to you eventually in a fight where it matters. And our goal is to make sure that when that happens to us, it doesn't matter. That's the big, big point that I want you to get. The goal is to make it so that this doesn't matter. And you do that by trying to play around double sides because it's way, way less likely to have that happen on a double side. Like, like this two sh the two sword side that I just made, I should never see that happen on the two sword side. We should always pull one of those swords eventually. Uh, I should probably still lock the chain. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. You're getting spikered on. You can do another four. Put them to... Good enough. I didn't need to reuse there, but it's good. I guess you could burst first for the same value, though. There it is. This rescue vitality is super cute. Look at this. I mean, it doesn't do anything there, I guess, but it's still cute. I still like it. Alright. Get me out of here. No, no, not like that, not like that. I'm sorry, get me out of this fight. I wish to be gone from this place. Don't kill me. Thank you. Um, I'm happy with every level up here. Yeah, dice is fine. You can do some goofy stuff here to dice. Losing this is whatever. We can put stasis on dice so this can't change off of a six now. So I've basically made a ludus with extra steps at this point. Um, and now I don't care, so I'm gonna unlock Jumble. I don't care about Glass Heart. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering, if you're thinking to yourself, oh, well, uh, you said Tainted is a never pick. Couldn't you have got Tainted on this run with this curse? Yeah, uh, don't pick this curse if you have a green. It will happen to you eventually, just so I'm clear, because I know someone's gonna think that at least. I like to try to cover all the bases, preempt all your questions. Oh, there it is. <laughs> hey, buddy, my bad. I didn't know. Huh? I boosted him for two and he only went up by one? That's weird. What I can do here is I can do this, but that's not even that good, because then you're... Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll do it. Oh, wait. Yeah, very strange. Why did he roll a 1 there? Or why did that stay as a 1, I should say? Very odd. I don't know. Let me use profit to save profit here. And we're good. Dumbbell? Oh, hey, Dumbbell Dice. Cool. I don't actually know how this works. What does this say? Oh, it's just zero in current pips. Okay, so it's just more chances to not be bad. 
And this will always be a 10 now. I mean, that's kind of cool, I guess. This fluctuate, it does keep the keyword, so we can give this like a chain. Okay. Yeah, I guess dice has a lot less chances to be bad, which is nice. Are you getting hit by? Oh, double shade kill. That's sweet. And I mean, fuck, dude, 10 cantrip shield. Sheesh. And we can do a little inspiring maneuver here. It says the chain, so I get two mana. And we stop two skeletons. Alright, this fight's one. Hey, I'll take it. The repel to double kill the shades? How beautiful. But yeah, if you have anything like blindfold for dice, he becomes really good because he just hits a bunch of different sixes. And that's solid, I would say. And in this case, it's even better. But I think he's kind of hit or miss for sure. Sometimes I think this character is worthless, but the big thing that makes him perform better than average is 12 HP. If you can, because on paper, I feel like his sides don't seem that impressive, but 12 HP you can cheat around a lot of mechanics with. Okay. Actually, wait, no, better than okay. Sick. End of the hand? Hmm. That's a plus one reroll for sure. This fight will be fast. I will live or die very quickly versus the hand here. I live. Uh, I think I went out from this spot. I would be shocked if I didn't. We descend here, we kill the other saber, wizard boosts himself, and now he rolls this and deals, was that, that's... Let me, let me think. I want to be able to do the math on this real quick in my head. It's 8 plus 8, which is 16, minus 4 is 12. So this is 28 damage. Let's see if I'm right. He's on 36. 8. Inspire. 8. And then I had 3 mana. 36 to 8. Yeah, 28 damage. I think I was off by a touch. Anyway, he's dead as fuck. GG. That was a good run. Only one death to Jumble. Tunnel Vision is like majority fine the problem with tunnel vision is when it fucks your items but it gave me good items here so i can't complain the big one is if it just picks the random item option a bunch and the random item option is just like three threes or two twos that shit gets bad but that was fun i had a good time i, I think this curse is i like playing it because it makes me pick party comps that i wouldn't play and maybe we can discover some new shit with new party comps and different items so i don't mind it also, uh, one time I took it and it took all of the bottom options, which were like multiple items, and then I got a tier 9 from an anvil on like floor 8. So that was cool too. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.